Alright, in this video I'm going to show you how to do the subtractive method to make the same pieces uh, that you did with the additive. So let's go ahead and open up uh, Inventor. I want to just kind of show you again how to do that. So we're going to go ahead and open up Inventor. Also, just to let you know, whenever you're opening um, a file from your H drive and you don't have Inventor open yet, if you're opening up an Inventor file, it's going to give you a problem. So you're going to want to open up Inventor and then open that uh, saved one while Inventor is already open. I think it's because of this screen right here. So let's go ahead and click New. Want English template, a standard IPT. I'm just making another part. I'll make this one bigger. Okay, so for a subtractive method, making this one first, you start off with just one large cube. So I'm going to start my sketch, pick a plane, and do a rectangle again. Okay, and say uh, 2 times 0 0.75, because I have two of those blocks. I'm going to hit tab, and then I'm going to say 2 times 0.75, and hit enter. Alright, again, I can't see the whole thing, so I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to pick it up by pushing my um, scroll button, and I'm going to move it to the center so I can see it. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and finish sketch. All right, now I need to extrude it, and it extrudes out one, two, and then this third piece. So it extrudes out three times 0.75, or you can do the math in your head. Sometimes I don't like to do that just in case I get something wrong. I hit OK. All right, so now I have a cube and I need to cut out uh, a section of it so that it can look like this. So how to do that is I'm going to hit extrude. Oh, I need to, okay, duh. <laughs> I need to make a sketch first. I can't extrude until I have a sketch. So I'm going to click 2D sketch and click the surface that I want the sketch on. All right, I'm going to go ahead and draw my rectangle. Notice I got the blue dot before I clicked. I had left clicked. And then I'm going to bring it up until it locks in place. Or I could go ahead and dimension, but I'm going to left click. I'm going to click finish sketch. Let me extrude this. But this time I'm going to pick the part that I don't want any of it there. So I'm going to click this part right here. And I want it to cut out. So see how this one, it's got like a little white area within the part. So I click on it, and notice how it's going to cut all of this out. But I don't want it times 3. This time I want it times 2. I click OK. So now I can go ahead and color it blue. OK. So now let's go ahead and start another part. And we're going to make the purple one. Same concept. Let's go ahead and look at the purple one again so you can see what it looks like. All right. So I'm going to make one large box and then I'm going to cut it out. Two steps to cut it out. All right. So I'm going to pick my plane again. I'm going to draw this again. So this particular one is 3 times 0.75 tab. And this one is too tall, so 2 times 0.75. Again, I need to zoom out. I'm going to move it where I can see it a little better. Alright, so I'm going to click the rectangle again. And notice I've got the little green dot, so I left click. I go up and say 0.75 tab, 0.75, enter, okay. click finish sketch, 
Oh, actually, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm going to go ahead and extrude this full thing. Notice I can extrude the full thing here. All right, with it. So I went ahead and extruded the whole thing, the 2 times 0.75, and enter. Now I want to draw the um, sketch on the front. That's whenever I would add the rectangle. All right, so 0 0.75, 0 0.75, enter. Okay, now I'm going to do an extrusion again. Just got ahead of myself because I'd already made it. So click finish sketch. So first I had made the one rectangle is all you need. And did you notice too, I was able to click however many things I wanted to extrude on that part. So I um, extruded the whole thing. Now I want to take out this part. I don't want to take out this one. I just want to take out the rest of this part of the rectangle. I'm going to click extrude. I'm going to pick this part here. Again, I want to go this direction instead. All right, and instead of 2 times 0.75, I just want it 0.75. Hit enter. Now I need to take out this little square here. So I'm going to hit create sketch. I'm going to put the sketch right here on this face. I go ahead and draw it with lines this time. So notice I've got the dotted line. So I can go ahead and left click there. I come down and I get a green dot. So I'm going to left click. And go to the right. Notice I'm getting a dotted line instead of a line this time. So I'm going to have to go back to my green dot and left click. I'm going to go across. I'm going to type in 0.75. Enter. And I'm going to go ahead and complete this by going up to the top. And whenever I get my 90 and it locks into place, I can left click again. I finished my sketch. I'm going to extrude, clicking on the part that I want to get rid of or cut out. Again, subtract. It is the subtractive method. And I'm going to cut instead of making. So click this button. Or I could have just made it the other direction. Either way works. And yes, it's 0.75. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to color it purple. All right, so hopefully these videos have helped uh, figuring out how to make your puzzle pieces. As you need help, just let, uh, let me know.